Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, we'll see how to make text appear behind the subject of your video using blend modes. For this tutorial, we'll be creating this example. The first step is to find a video where the part of the subject that will cover the text is distinctly darker than the background. In the video that I selected, the sail of the boat is darker than the sky in the background. The background should have a uniform level of brightness, but it doesn't have to be of uniform color. In the video that I selected, there are white clouds covering part of the blue sky. The method I'll show you in this video uses the darker color blend mode. This blend mode doesn't blend pixels. Instead, it compares the blend and base colors and keeps the darkest of the two. The idea behind this method is to find a color for the text with a brightness value that is between the brightness of the background and the brightness of the subject. Then, when the darker color blend mode is applied, the text color will replace the lighter color of the background, but won't replace the darker color of the subject. As the last step, using chroma key, the color of the text can be replaced with any video or image. As an alternative, Instead of having a subject that is darker than the background, you could go the other way around and choose a video where the subject is brighter than the background, like in the video showing now. In this case, you would use the lighter color blend mode instead of darker color. Now let's get into the details. We start in LumaFusion with two videos in the timeline. In the main track, there is a video of your choice that follows the principles related to brightness that I just explained. The track just above it has a title with text. The face color of the text is pure green, to make it easier to use with chroma key. If you are not planning on replacing colors, you don't need to be bound to green, and you can select any color of your choice as long as it respects the principles of brightness explained earlier. As a bonus, you won't need to work hard to remove those pesky chroma key artifacts. The text doesn't have neither a border nor a shadow and it is positioned so it obscures part of the sail as the boat moves across the screen. Both clips have the same length. If you want to apply color corrections to the clip in the main track, this is the time to do it. For this tutorial, I won't apply any color corrections. Edit the title. Go to the Frame and Fit tab. Expand the Blending section and select the Darker Color Blend Mode. As you can see, parts of the text are visible through the sail. This means that the text is darker than some parts of the sail. Let's resolve this by increasing the brightness of the text to a point where it is always brighter than the sail, but at the same time darker than the sky in the background. You could increase the brightness of the text color in the titler. The problem there is that the titler doesn't show the blend mode being applied, so it requires a preview to test every change making the process longer and harder to fine-tune. Instead, go to the Colors and Effects tab and add the original preset so you can adjust the brightness of the face color of the text from here. Increase the brightness until the sail is fully visible in front of the text. Make sure that the text is still fully obscuring the background. Scroll through the video to make sure that the effect works for the whole clip, and increase brightness if it doesn't. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like so far. All that remains to be done now is to replace the green color of the text with a video or image of your choice. To do that, export the project. Start a new project and place a video or image of your choice in the main track, and the video you just exported just above it. Both clips should have the same length. Apply the green screen chroma key effect to the video previously exported as shown, adjusting the settings of the effect if necessary. A 
and we are done. This is how it looks like now. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.